You were a trader yes, from day one. day one. Did you know you were going to be that good? Like this, I feel like this show was made <sighs> for you. I feel like it was too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I, I didn't know because I'm not a gamer. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm a veteran housewife, mm -hmm. so I'm not used to gaming. Mm -hmm. And the gamer's definitely not a game. Mm -hmm. And you know, housewives, we know how to lift champagne and have a little drama. No, <laughs> but I feel like you, there's something about your personality and your expressions, which we're gonna get to in a second, <laughs> that made it just perfect. Like, had I not have known that you were a trader on the show, because obviously we're watching it, mm -hmm. I would not have guessed that mm -hmm. you were a trader on this show. But Dirty Dan helped you out. <laughs> so what I noticed too is from the beginning it, it was obviously it's a game but yes. there were less emo emotions involved but then as the show kind of played on mm -hmm. things started to get a little bit personal so what is that kind of like with some of the people that we were that you know things got a little real with on the show like how do you kind of stand with them them now including Dirty Dan <laughs> well you know what I made lifetime friends on this show yeah. obviously I had a connection with Sheree mm -hmm. because we've known each other for decades mm -hmm. since we were, you know, al almost teenagers. Mm -hmm. So we've known each other forever. So my Bravo family, Sheree, MJ, I'd known them in real life. Mm -hmm. um, I had never met Larsa. Mm -hmm. I'd never met Kate. So I, you know, I, I obviously knew of them, but had never met them. Mm -hmm. So. You know, I got a chance to play with my family from the NBC Universal, you know, family. Mm -hmm. But when I met CT, he was such a sweetheart. Uh, Burgerlicious, I met him on the way to Scotland. I just, I love him. Um, Sandra from Survivor loved her. Mm -hmm. So Janelle fell in love with her as well. So the relationships grow because you're actually spending time with them mm -hmm. in this very, private closed setting and you're discussing the game but you're also discussing life and you know learning a lot about their personal lives mm -hmm. now i was kind of screaming at my my uh, tv with homegirl okay <laughs> at the end you know when i don't i couldn't tell i was like is she playing this too well but she seemed to get a little yeah personal yeah, it was, was a little the, weird yeah but i think at the end i think she wanted me to turn on sandra and I'm very loyal, and when I took the oath, I was gonna play the game fair. Mm -hmm. And by the, you know, I tore my meniscus, so mm -hmm. I was in excruciating pain mm -hmm. for probably five of the challenges. Mm -hmm. And came home after the game and actually had a procedure on my knee. So it was, yeah. You were invested, I was, you were in it, yeah. I was in it 100%. Yeah. But Kate, you know, people game differently, and I just mm -hmm. would not, I, at the end, everyone there, I wanted, I wouldn't have had a problem with them winning. So I wasn't gonna turn on someone mm -hmm. because I wanted to save myself. Mm -hmm. I just didn't think that was fair. And I didn't want to turn on Kate like Dan did on me. So, you know, some of us have morals. <laughs> you know, the fans loved you and CT together. You know, there were some names. I feel like, whoa, whoa, mom Castle and dad, Daddy. mom and dad, yeah. <laughs> but I really thought it was such a sweet moment too, especially even when he did put your name and was, yeah. you know, voted. He said that, he understands that you were playing this game, yes. not like how you are in real life. I thought that was so sweet. So yes. what, I feel like we need to see something of you and CT, a spinoff or something. Oh man, I, I would love to work with CT again. He is just salt of the earth, a great guy, just a gentleman, you know, alpha male. And I mean, I probably would have drowned a few times if it weren't for CT because he was just that type of gentleman. Mm -hmm. um, but just a great guy. Yeah. Did Sheree take it personal afterwards like when you guys had the conversation no. the fact that you because I couldn't tell I was watching I was like oh she looks upset that you that you were you know you were playing the game and you you could not be honest with her in that moment well I mean it is a game yes and mm -hmm. to be a traitor you know you have to stay true to the oath um, and so she and I are, are even closer now than we've ever been mm -hmm. because of this game because we've really seen each other come around full circle from getting married, having children, mm -hmm. being on The Housewives, being on this together. So it's yeah. really strengthened our relationship as friends. Yeah. Now, Kate is your only, is your recruit and the only <laughs> trainer left. Yes. Um, and if you're looking at who we got, mm -hmm. who, you, who do you think is gonna win this competition? Maybe who do you <laughs> hope wins? And then who, just being in the game, do you think is like, man, this person might actually well, I would love for, you know, MJ to win. 
because she's played a good game. I would love for Sheree to win. Mm -hmm. She's played a great game because I want my family members from, you know, Bravo to win, of course, because right. those are my, my family. But CT has been excellent. He has played the best game. He has just been the knight in shining armor the whole time. So I would not be mad if he won either. Yeah. Now we got to go through some of these expressions. This girl. <laughs> People love your iconic lines, and you mm -hmm. brought it to Trader. So I'm going to go through a couple of these that I wrote down. Uh, this is not The Bachelor, mm -hmm. and I don't have to kiss your ass for a rose. Correct. Mm -hmm. No comment. <laughs> so, no, I mean, I, I, Peter and I, we just did some um, promotional work together. Yeah. Love Peter. And I'm a, I, when I saw him, I went crazy because I'm totally Bachelor Nation. Mm -hmm. I have never missed any season of The Bachelor. So I fanned out on him and Max as soon as I got to the castle mm -hmm. because I recognized him. I didn't recognize anybody else's outside of my Bravo family and Deontay. I knew Deontay before as well. And he was trying to run that castle like it was The Bachelor. I mean, these private <laughs> meetings, I'll have a conversation with you. I'll take a meeting with you. I won't look at you. I mean, it was just crazy. He thought he was back on ABC, girl. <laughs> he said this is a different game. <laughs> <laughs> Another one that had me falling out, and I don't know why it was so funny, because I know what was going through your mind, but you kind of slouched over, and you're like, oh, my Lord, sweet baby Jesus, not Atkinson. Not Atkinson, <laughs> Lord have mercy. Not Atkinson, Lord Jesus, not Atkinson. Damn me. Because I can, out of everyone you could kill, why sweet baby Jesus, Atkinson, that... The most gentle lamb in the house. I'm like, we need to kill people that need to die. Atkinson needs to live. But everybody knows. No one was going to drink out that chalice but naive Atkinson. Was there a little romance going on? Did it you was, see that actually. with Atkinson? Okay, what well, can you tell me about? Because Pete's mom <laughs> shared a pic on Instagram with Atkinson. So what happened behind the scenes that we didn't um, see? They definitely had a chemistry. Okay. I mean, they should be doing the rom-com, honey, because... Atkinson and, and Peter definitely had a lot of uh, okay. chemistry. Okay. I know what happens on these shows from time to time, especially like, mm -hmm. especially like Big Brother and stuff. You know, there's stuff that kind of goes yes. on. And, yes. All right. So maybe we'll see something like that. Another one. I do too much because you do too little. Here we go. And that's what Dan did. The minimal. Besides calling me out, he didn't do much else, honey. <laughs> Not my... Bergalicious. I know my Bergalicious. Oh, oh. Bergie is was so sweet. Uh -huh. I met him on the plane going to Scotland, and he sat by me. And I looked at him. I said, "What are you doing? Uh, why are you alone?" Because I could tell he's young. And he says, "Well, I'm going to a castle." I said, "So you're on the show with me?" He says, oh, "I can't talk about that." I said, "Honey, get my bags. Let's go." <laughs> and so he he helped me with my bags, and we we just connected and. He was so sweet. I mean, he's got such a bright future in front of him. He's a good, good young man. Just really nice. Oh, I love that. And I'm, mm -hmm. I'm just, I'm, I'm not sad that you, well, I have to ask, was it stressful to finally, was it like a relief to finally have been able to be like, okay, they got me, now I could go home, or Ooh. were you? Well, I mean, I was fighting every yeah. round table. I'm fighting because of what Dirty Dan did. And so, you know, <laughs> had he not done that, I would have probably had an easier ride. But, you know, it gets to a point you just, you're fighting, you're fighting. I'm in excruciating pain. My knee is about to fall off. And, you know, they don't allow much ibuprofen over there. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay. Yeah. And I just, I would have never put anyone on the block that I knew was not a traitor, and I wasn't gonna give up Kate. Yeah. So I just wouldn't do that. Yeah. So yeah. you're like, it's my, it's so my time. So I'm like, it's my time, honey. I, I had a good time. You know, it's only one day left. Ciao, Bella. Yeah, now Andy recently released a statement about the reunion and said, you know, because you guys, you no know, <laughs> secrets, you know, no, you guys aren't new to the re, to the reunion, oh, right? So you, you're mm -hmm. like, this is my my ball game. I know, I know yeah, how to, we, I know how to do these reunions, right? Mm -hmm. He said there were a lot of tears, there was excitement. What can you tell us about? Um, <laughs> well, I, you know, the gamers don't do reunions yeah. like the housewives. Okay. Uh, so we, you know, we tried not to go housewivey, but um, the Bravo girls are gonna be Bravo Lisha, so. Uh, there was definitely some words said to people, and yeah, I, I think people will enjoy it.